Okay, so Shivam, first of all, just give your uh, brief intro about yourself and which examination you want. I stand. Okay. Okay, sir. So my name is Shubham Verma. I belong to Kanpur, Uttar Pradesh. I completed my 10th month from my native place, Kanpur. And I completed my B.Tech from Bundelkhand Institute of Engineering Technology, Jhansi in Chemical Engineering. And in third year, I did my vocational training in Kanpur Fertilizer and Cement Limited, and uh, in which I will uh, I will learn how the urea is prepared from the raw materials. And uh, I, after that, I will prepare for the GATE, GATE exam. And uh, I finally joined, I joined uh, master and I completed a master from Indian Institute of Technology, Varanasi BSU. And uh, my hobby is playing cricket and watching movies. In my, fam in my family, mother, father, one younger brother, mother is housewife and father is a government employee. And I am prepared for the SRRRL exam, Nusran Rajasthan Refinery Limited. What is the third law of thermodynamics? The third law of thermodynamics is that the, uh, about the absolute temperature, uh, absolute temperature of the body. Means, sir, I did not know. Sir, we thermodynamics sir, and we. You are not prepared for thermodynamics now. Abhi nahi. Thermodynamics na sir, we do not. We are not going to talk about that. Okay. Just give me one example where the all three modes of heat heat interaction are being done. Sir, uh, simply sir, uh, water pressure as a boil cut, sir. 100 degrees Celsius into conduction, convection, and radiation, sir. Do you know, sir? Conduction is what Heat is passed through the burner, I mean, it's thickness through the surface. It's in terms of it's not warm. It's warm. Conduction will happen, and the surface of the water will be liquid. It's conduction. Conduction will happen. What is the difference between the boiling and evaporation? Sir, uh, evaporation is a uh, sir, evaporation is surface phenomena, while uh, boiling is a bulk phenomena. Okay. Is there any role of a pressure also here? In the boiling and evaporation, there is a role of pressure? Yes, sir. What? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. sir if, we, if we increase the pressure, then the boiling will be increased. Okay, what do you mean by LMTD? Sir, LMTD is basically logarithmic temperature difference, and uh, it will be uh, it is a it is a value such that uh, when we multiply with the overall heat transfer coefficient and the area of heat exchanger, uh, it will give the uh, same amount of heat uh, that in fact. My question is that why we take the LMTD in the case of a heat exchanger? Sir, your voice is clear now, sir. Why do you take the LMTD in the case of a heat exchanger? Okay, sir. Sir, Why not take the average temperature here? Sir, because sir, heat exchanger, sir, tem uh, the temperature will vary along the path also. So for the uh, uh, for the uh, malab, uh, uh, for the high accurate value, we will uh, use the uh, LMTD approach. हम सर मतलब आत्मातीय अप्रोच की तरफ भी जा सकते थे, लेकिन सर उसमें पास का वेरिएशन के बारे में सर हम लोगों को मालूम नहीं होता सर LMTD अप्रोच में. So that we will use the LMTD approach. Path के along सर वेरी करता temperature. Can you make yes, the sir, diagram for the evaporator and condenser? Yes, sir. So visual. Okay, okay. What do you mean by surface resistance in case of a uh, radiation? So surface resistance is basically uh, the the resistance which is offered by offered by the surface. Okay, can you just write the formula? One minus epsilon upon epsilon is the A. What is the difference between the diffuse body and a great body? Diffuse yes, surface and a great surface? You must repeat the reason. What is the difference between the diffuse surface and a great surface? Sir, diffuse surface, sir, uh, the मतलब जिस incident का मतलब जिस point पे से incident होती है and it will be reflected in in all possible direction in the diffusion. 
and gray body means sir the sorry your emissivity param emissivity is independent of the wavelength or the the density basically what do you mean by the biot number the uh, biot number is defined as the ratio of the resistance uh, offered by the uh, conduction to the uh, resistance offered due to conduction to the conduction what do you mean by nusl number the okay. so nusl number is defined as the ratio of the heat transfer heat transfer due to the uh, conduction to the heat transfer due to the uh, conduction so what is the difference between these two where we are just using The difference is that uh, the biot number is used in unsteady state unsteady state heat operation, while the nusl number is used heat operation uh, steady state heat operation. And uh, nusl number is defined for the medium. It's a formula that is HLC upon K that is basically K for the medium. And then for biot number, it is defined for the uh, solid. What do you mean by lumped analysis? So lumped analysis are basically the uh, we assume that the uh, body having a very high value of thermal conductivity, uh, so that the there will be no any temperature gradient within a body. Means that the uh, the the, temp the temperature the temperature throughout the body will be same. Which metal is having the highest thermal conductivity? A diamond. Diamond. What's the range of that? Twenty three hundred. Okay. After that, which material? In metals, I am just talking about. In metals, I am talking about then. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, copper is also there. Copper is also there, and then uh, aluminium, the gold, the copper is less. Okay, sir. If I am just study the force conversion, what are the different numbers on which the force conversion free conversion will depend? So in a force conversion, the Nusl number is a function of the uh, the Nusl into Cantal. While the free conversion, the Nusl number is a function of the Cantal and Grassoff. What is your meaning by Grassoff number? The Grassoff number. What do you mean by Grassoff number? Yes, sir. The Grassoff number is defined as ratio of the uh, buoyancy force to viscous forces. In a sense, the buoyancy to viscous force holds that. I don't know about the Stanton number. The Stanton number. Yes. Ah. Ah. So Stanton number is defined as the ratio of the uh, ratio of the heat transfer, ratio of the heat transfer, ratio of the heat transfer due to convection to the thermal energy storage rate. But heat transfer. Due to due to convection rate, to the thermal energy storage rate, H upon rho C P. Okay, so Shivam Verma, I will just give you the now feedback to you. ठीक है thermal आप आपका मतलब overall मतलब मैं बात करूँ आरे सी और उसके H M T के बारे में. आओ ऊपर से तो आपको knowledge अच्छी है. ठीक है कोई दिक्कत नहीं आपने जो answer दिए more than eighty percent satisfactory थे कोई issue नहीं आया. ठीक है थोड़ा thermal portion को भी attach करके रखो और उसे पढ़ो. क्योंकि क्वेश्चंस कहीं से भी कहीं भी बनता है यू कैन जस्ट आस्क फ्रॉम द थर्मल क्वेश्चन आर एसी क्वेश्चन एंड आल्सो द आईसी इंजन पार्ट एंड थर्मल पार्ट अगर आप थर्मल ले रहे हो देन यू हैव टू जस्ट पेपर ऑल दीस तो कब है इंटरव्यू आपका डेट क्या है इंटरव्यू की तो 25 सितंबर 25 सितंबर यानी इट्स ओनली हैविंग द 10 डेज है ना 9 डेज 9 टू 10 डेज हम ओके ओके सो जस्ट ट्राई टू रिकॉल द ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स है ना it is give uh, uh, matlab uh, with the two or three combined let's yeah. give the snaps of two or three more subject combined so you will get the good question okay so all the best okay sir thank you sir